Hello everyone, GaffMass974 here again today and welcome to another Hammer tutorial. This is, I hope to be anyway, a viewer requested tutorial about the Combine Wall Crusher as you can see in the 3D view here. So you see this in um, D2 Prison 05 which is the end of the Nova Prospect chapter and so yeah it just serves to be a wall that you try to get away from as it you know just crushes and squishes you basically um so there's basically an easy mode and a sort of more difficult mode to this tutorial the easy mode would be to go to half-life project beta's website and under half-life 2 retail you can download hl2 retail original map sources from xbox 360 that gives you a .zip file and you just extract that and you just get all of the VMFs from Half-Life 2 and um, yeah you can just load up D2 Prison 05 and so I'm in Hammer++ the last tutorial I did was of Hammer++ but um, if I go into D2 Prison 05 for example then I could just show you where you need to go um, yeah you get messages about orphaned viz groups which you know you know from looking at that it is the original you know vmf map unmodified but you get this section um so you should know it's from retail half-life 2 if you've played it and all you really do is just select it's all grouped together other than a trigger hurt which only activates to you know squ squash you to death as i said and you just copy and paste that and jobs are good and right but the more difficult version is what I'm outlining here where you try and make it from scratch. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is create a monster generic. Now the reason for doing this is we're going to be creating a scripted sequence and as far as I know scripted sequences only work with NPCs and not necessarily prop dynamics so I don't know um, if we can get this to work with a prop dynamic but we're going to use a monster generic and so there's going to be some parameters that I just need to uh, load up my notes here so um, we can call this a model wall and disable receiving shadow I think it's just disable shadows disable shadows set that to yes and um, da, 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 da. next thing is model down here and we want this to be combine wall um, yeah the models just have to load combine wall is that it yeah this is it so okay I screwed up I couldn't find it but now I found it so yeah it's combine underscore wall dot MDL and I'm gonna work this as if you're acting in a sort of like downwards direction um, so basically our red arrow here is facing um, in that way so it's as you just saw me adjust the uh, angles there it's uh, 270 so it's pointing downwards um, that's because that's what the other one's doing and under flags we want um, to fall to ground and is not solid and uh, also make sure we get the positioning right as well so I just want to put that down about there I think okay so it's about there and so now we're gonna find the invisible texture and so there's gonna be two outer collisions and one inner collision so we're going to somewhat encapsulate this one side um, with an invisible texture and also encapsulate the other side but make it a little bit wider um, if I just get rid of that for a second, oh, right. I'll, I'll keep, I'll just move inside. But if you see, it's broken up into multiple um, brushes, this um, invisible uh, you know, set of brushes, and like, those are the move linears. So I think in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it really simply and just uh, do some vertex manipulation just to... Uh, Get the desired effect or at least somewhat close to it so just gonna do something like that and because I'm lazy I'll just uh, redo what I just did again it, this is not perfect this is what I say is the sort of more difficult method because if you look at the size of the brush as well you see it's some 
stupid units like 545.576 and you can't really snap that to a grid unfortunately it's like they just selected the model and based the uh, depth off of what the uh, model is so some very specific uh, depth right there so that's going to be what I'm going to do there it's just a little bit chipped and angled at the bottom because that's the way it kind of looks there um, and so what I'm going to do is Control T and Funk Move Linear. Yeah, I don't know if I said this already, but I apologise if the font's really small. And that's just a consequence of doing this at 4K. Oops, I'm dragging the capture all over the place like a bloody idiot. Of course, good job. Um, and so we're going to call this a. Uh, oh wait, no. Um, model wall, and then it's a. Uh, out of collision, out of col. Just give it that name. And now that I've done that, I need to bring my notes back up. So we want the move direction to be down because that's uh, that, that's just the way we've oriented the situation. And we want our speed to be 72, the move distance to be 175, and the block damage to be uh, 25. And then we also want to make sure that the origin is about 192 units below where the end of this bush is. So it's kind of like there basically, just being perfect about it. If I look at um, this one for example, then um, oh, I've actually inadvertently moved that. But um, you can see that this is where the end is. And it's if I just move that there, then you can kind of see it's a little bit like 128 odd units away from there. So yeah, it might not be perfect, but it's kind of close enough, I guess. Um, and so we can basically just copy and paste these settings onto this um, move linear. It's supposed to copy and Wait, did, it didn't save the settings. I'll say I might have changed the wrong one. Oops, I'll just go for the settings again. But it's um, yeah, 72 speed, 175 move distance, and 25 block damage. And I don't think we need to do anything with the flags with this. So let me just uh, change these as well. And change the there. And this just leaves us with the big center inner collision brush, which is just going to be done by doing that. Um, again, it's a funk move linear, uh, but this time we're going to call it in col for inner collision. And this time we're going to change it so the move speed's a thousand, the move distance is 470, and the blocking damage is 1000. But we also want to add a little bit of downwards direction. So we're going to actually do that as uh, 60, 270, and 0. Um, okay, so that's that. And so I'm going to move on to some of the more decorative uh, entities. So this is going to be where I create a fizz explosion, which is right yonder here. And we're going to create two of them just like outside the front I guess here maybe a little bit above um, again this is just approximate locations based off of what the other one is but I'm gonna call this model wall underscore fizz explosion and we just want to change the magnitude to 300 and under flags make sure it's just no damage only force um, and that's all we're gonna do here then then after this we have um an ar2 explosion and there's going to be a couple of these that we're going to create as well um and again this is just going to be for the the impact point so i'm just going to put one around there maybe one around there and um, we're going to give these different names as well i think it's because we want them to explode at different times uh, so I'm going to call this model wall uh, smoke just but yeah okay uh, model smoke and then this one is uh, model wall smoke one 
if I can figure out where the hell it is. There we go, smoke one. I think everything else you just leave the same. So that's just all there is to that one. And um, we're going to create a shake as well. So, oops, uh, an in shake entity. And so we're just going to put that about there in the middle. Shift that up a little bit. And so we're going to call this model wall shake. And then amplitude, we want this to be 16. Effect radius, 512. Duration, 2. And frequency, 16. And under flags, we want this to be a global shake. Um, that's all the settings we're going to do there. And this is going to be a bit of a complicated one. Um, but I'm going to go from left to right here. And we're going to create something like 6 ambient generics so I'm just gonna leave them around there I don't think the positioning is all that important um, so I'm just gonna leave them like that and so on the left we have um, let's say it's move wall and then impact sounds and the sound name is e3 underscore C17 underscore O2 dot gate hits ground. Um, and so that's that. And we want to make sure play everywhere is selected. So I guess the placement doesn't matter because we want it to play everywhere. Um, and so let me just consult this one. So you see, this is um, the scrape sound is on the very left. Uh, oh, you know what I did? I looked at the entity report. So where's the impact sound actually? It should be, okay, impact here. Um, it's about in the middle. Okay, so I'll just change that real quick for you guys. That should go around there. It's going to play everywhere anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter um, where everything goes. It just plays everywhere anyway. Um, so we can do model wall move. Move sound actually. Which makes it clear later on and I believe this is Nova prospect dot gate ground crunch um, and that's going to be playing everywhere as well but what we're going to do is create another sound um, with the same name but I think we change the sound name for this so let's just say play everywhere and this time it's nova prospect uh, dot gate grinds up um, yeah I'm not previewing any of the sounds because it doesn't work um, I think for these kind of sounds it doesn't preview them properly maybe it's just a source SDK 2013 single player doing that um, okay so that should be the move sounds so now we've got the scrape sounds so we can call this uh, model wall underscore scrape sounds and make sure it's set to play everywhere as well and I think this one is e3 underscore c17 underscore o2 dot gate grinds down one uh, and then the next one is going to be scrape sound also uh, but this time we want e3 underscore c17 underscore o2 dot gate grinds down two uh, make sure that's set to play everywhere as well and the last one is the scrape two sound. So this is going to be a model wall um, scrape sound one. Why not just label it something different? And this is e three c seventeen o two dot gate grinds up two. Okay, and um, so in every case of these ambient generics we want them to play everywhere 
start silent and it's not looped so that's pretty much everything we want to make sure is checked for all of these sounds again i don't think the placement of them really matters because it's going to play everywhere um however the placement of what i'm going to do next is somewhat important and so i'll just make sure oh yeah i didn't do this step earlier for the uh move linear oops oh i'll just drag it around uh there i guess uh, i think this is just more for if you want the player to be damaged when the wall actually crushes down so if the player gets in the way of any of these then they should in theory get hurt if not straight up killed but uh, anyway next up is our env shooter entities and so if we look at the combine sort of wall here you can see they're sort of in the middle oops as i get like crushed so i should have died right there so they're all going to be like in the middle around here so i'm just going to create like two four six something like that um and i'm just going to drag them up so they're up around like there um yeah, it's close enough isn't it they're all in the same sort of ballpark and um can bring them forward as well so let me just uh do that again i said this is all very approximate so let the back ones just raise up a little bit higher and so again i don't know which ones are which and if i can get rid of the wall maybe i could look into this so it's a uh, three three on the left hand side okay i'll do that first then so these two we can just select both of them and this is going to be a uh, model wall shooter one and so in this case i believe we want these to be uh, minus 40 289 and zero number of jibs we want four uh, jib velocity we want that to be 600 course variance we want that to be 0.75 uh, disable receiving shadows we want that to be set to yes and then the model we want is under props debris uh, so concrete chunk o3a so that one i believe it is so select that and apply i don't think there's any flags we need to worry about there uh, and so all of these now are another named shooter so i think there's two different sets of properties for these so i'll just have to look into it again but this is just a model wall shooter um i think the direction yeah I, i'll leave the direction for now but a uh, number of jibs uh, that's going to be different as well um but yeah let's just do the disable receiving shadows yes i need to figure out which ones are which oh and material sound as well we want that to be concrete um sorry for the disjointedness of this i'm doing this on the fly for like the first time so uh yeah hopefully you can understand how this can come across as a little disjointed um so if they get out of the way that's 35 and but okay so the inner ones are 35 and okay 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 right so these are Da, 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 minus 35 266 and zero um so the number of jibs is one jib velocity of 600 course variance of 0 0.1 and uh, disable receiving child yes model we want concrete chunk 01b which is up here and i believe these two which are the last two we're going to be dealing with uh, number of jibs we want four uh, so jib direction minus 20 308 zero jib velocity is 800 variance uh, 0 0.45 and model we want a concrete spawn chunk 001a um that's somewhere here f e d c b i think it's that one spawn chunk 001a 
is what we want there. I'm just going to interject at this point everyone, one thing I didn't realise that is in the uh, D2 Prison 05 Crusher is that the centre section has actually been raised slightly so that the end shooters exist um, and they can shoot out otherwise you get an interpenetrating entity error and the jibs don't shoot out as they're supposed to. So that's just something to uh, keep in mind. Okay. So we created all of these different entities in all of these different places. So the only thing we need to do now is create a scripted sequence to bring all of this together. So I don't necessarily know if the placement is all too important for this, but I'm going to just stick it probably around there. Um, maybe bring it out a little bit. So I'm going to do it here. If this is the wrong spot, then well, I'll figure it out. Um, so I'm going to call this model wall um, SS. Yeah, don't get any ideas. Um, I'll just leave it at that. Uh, target NPC, we want it to be our model wall. So let me just go in here and select it. Just because I was unsure if I actually called it model wall or not. But um, pre-action, we want idle up, which is the you know animation it's in now. Action, we want crush, and post action, we want idle. Then um, in search radius, we want 1024. Move to position, no, we don't want it to do that. And under flags, we want uh, repeatable, no interruptions, override AI, looping post idle and priority script. And now we can get onto the outputs, which links this all together. So we can do on script event 01, we want our scrape sound to play sound. On script event 02, we want our shake to start shake. And uh, there's plenty of on script event O2s here, so I'll try and uh, do them to the best of my ability. So we want our impact sounds to play sounds um, on script event O2. We want our. Uh, uh, no, that's later. Um, it's the phys explosions, that's why I'm getting confused. It's what I call the uh, phys explosions. Uh, we want those to explode. Yeah, as I said, this is the first time this shouldn't be happening. Um, da -da 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 -da, shooters. So we want um, model wall shooter to shoot, and the other shooters to shoot as well. Uh, but I think this is where we introduce delays. So in this case, I'll call them shooters one. So we want to shoot these, but after 0.2 seconds then on script event 02 we want our inner collision to open if it actually does what i tell it to uh, inner collision to open after 0.3 seconds and last but not least on script event 02 we want our scrape two sounds scrape one here to play sound after two seconds. Then on script event 03, we want our first smoke to explode. And then on script event 05, for whatever reason, uh, the jump here, we just want our other uh, smoke to explode. Uh, and then finally on script, if it actually does that correctly, on script event 06, we want our outer collision, uh, da -da -da -da, out call to open. And we also want our uh, move sounds to play sounds. Okay, in theory, everything that I've outlined should now be connected. 
So all you really need to do is call the start, sorry, begin sequence input for this um, model wall scripted sequence, and it should do what's happening over here. And in theory, if you get caught uh, by any of, the, any of these metal prods when they smash into the ground, you should take damage and die particularly. Um, but in D2 Prison 05, there's this trigger hurt, which I guess, as I said earlier, it's if you get squished up against a wall, then you want the player to die. And in particular, you want the player to die um, once the sequence is finished. So that's why this trigger hurt is here. So I guess I can outline how to uh, do that if you want to. This is an optional step. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to select the... Uh, invisible move linear brush and just encapsulate the area around the um, crusher and just uh, tie that to a trigger hurt and we can call this something like model wall hurt and so in this case we want to start disabled to be set to yes. We do want it to start disabled. We don't want to play it. We don't want the player to die for no reason because that's just crazy. Uh, but we want to do 999 damage with a damage cap of 100, and we want to do crush damage, and also make sure that it's specific to players only. And another thing as well, I don't think the footage that I'm going to show you and the trigger hurt doesn't work. Um, so I'm just going to extend that out a bit so there's plenty of uh, space in which the player can get crushed quote unquote to death um, so yeah I just wanted to make that um, update um, so I'm probably going to splice this somewhere in the uh, video and then to get this to work all we're going to want to do is add uh, an output of on end sequence and we want our hurt to basically be turned on. And so in theory, ladies and gentlemen, if I go here and say on pressed, we want our model wall scripted sequence to begin sequence. And so that is pretty much the combine wall crusher. Uh, I apologize for taking so long just to outline this. Um, the easy solution, as I said, is just copy it from D2 Prison 05. Um, but I'm going to show footage here of what it looks like in game and if it actually works as it's supposed to. Uh, best case scenario, it does with no issues. If it doesn't, then D2 Prison 05, just that's the route to take. Um, but yeah, I hope you found this informative and helpful. And if um, you have any issues, then let me know. But yeah, that is the tutorial everyone, so take care out there, have a great day, and um, if you have any suggestions of hammer tutorials or anything you want me to do, then let me know, I'll be more than happy to look into it for you. So yep, yeah, have a great day, see you later.